What's up guys? Bass Boys here. We're over here at Three Oaks again. I'm gonna start fishing right here. I'm gonna see if anything is in this little pocket here. Last time here we caught some pike and bass. Little pikes. Thought we'd stop by here first. All right, folks. We're gonna switch it up a little. Switch spots. We just fish that one spot for a little. Changing up to my legend tournament. Seven foot three, medium power. And then we got a sonar minnow on here. Some yum, four inch, on a three yacht, weedless hook. Try fishing this spot. Last time here, I had some luck over here. Just missed a couple, I think. Pike. It's much sunnier though today than last time. And then I got my Shimano Stratic with a 10 pound braid on there. Of course, we're eating David Seeds. Yeah, it's a pretty nice fall day out here. If we can keep that sun out of the camera, it'd be nice. So far, no hits. What about you? Hell no. <clears throat> Let's take out the mojo bass. Right now. Mojo bass from St. Croix. This is my medium heavy rod, seven foot three. This is the rod I had a few, few days ago. Hooked the muskie on, same bait. We got a Sahara from Shimano, 3000. And this is the bait that I had that muskie on with. Same exact one. I guess we'll continue to use it because it did survive. Got a 20 pound braid. That is a huge six side hook. So maybe that'll help us hook some pike, maybe. There's some big ones. This thing should cast about a mile. That was far. Really? Oh, yeah. Gonna retie this hook. Might be a smart idea since the muskie was on here before. Let's retie it. Alright. Let's retie. This braid scissors come in handy. Let's put this gold and black one on. Let's go around this bend here. Nothing seems to be biting over here. I wonder if I can move that stick. I'd like to cast down that shoreline. Oh my God. It's a huge, huge like bass or something. Just swam by. What that was. It wasn't no carp though. It was right there. Holy crap. That's a huge largemouth bass. I ain't even kidding. That thing looks like it's like six and a half pounds. I don't know where he went. Holy crap. 
Did you say that there was two of them? No, just one of them just swam. It had to be a large mouth. Freaking thing was like this long. Dang. Big. There? Yeah. That was that was literally the biggest bass I might have ever seen swimming. Swimming, yeah. Yeah. Let me just see first if uh how heavy it it feels. Oh yeah. We could probably move it. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably move it. Got that stick out of the way. jumped out <laughs> look at a decent one too Could have been a decent size Ryan almost had his first pike or walleye I mean, or wouldn't have been his first walleye but I think it was a pike but it got sliced that one yeah I got something Man, Ryan's on a hot streak. Got three in a row. He could have had. Oh, yeah, that's a little pike. Grab him. Oh, it just came right out. You want to hold it? These ones are easier, I think. Then, uh, we'll take a picture. All right. There you go, Ryan's first pike. It's weird, he's like making weird noises. <laughs> oh, I just had a, I had a tap. Really? Yeah, like real close. Like something attacked it. Come back. Gotta keep kicking boulders here. I'm probably gonna have to move. Huh? I was thinking we're probably gonna have to move, move after this cast. We'll try the other bridge over there. Go to that spot first. All right. We're gonna make a move. Move to another bridge. Ryan's first pike, though, caught in this corner, just like my first pike. Really? <laughs> yeah. You brought your hoodie. <laughs> and it, it, it ain't no 63 out here, there's no way. It's gotta be like 50 something. The cold is coming, and it's coming fast. Ryan just said it went from 63 to. 59. What time is it? Five? That's it? That's good. Yeah, only five. It's already 
59. Man, day like totally changed. It's like a different day. Well, the cold cane that we wanted. <laughs> sure it's here now. Came at us quick. Yeah, let's go back there. Really? Yeah. No, I just want. I think we can get. I think back there, he might be able to get out of the wind more. It seemed like as soon as he came over here, it's like so freaking windy out here. Back there, I don't know if it was as bad. Was it? That wasn't cold back there. As soon as it came over here, it got cold. All right, we're turning to the stick again. Fished a lot of other spots, not too much luck. Going back to where I got the pike. It's a lot more calm back here, not as windy. But a cold front came through, a good, a pretty big one. Seemed like it shut down the bite. Yeah, I know. How are they, ma'am? I got a fish. That fish has been biting for a long time. Yep, you got one. Yeah, it's a pike. Holy crap, look at that, there's a catfish. Trying to eat him. Oh my god. What is that? No, it's a smallmouth. What the heck? What is this? Maybe he was chasing the bait too. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a smallmouth. Put your, put your bait there, you might eat it. Uh, he's already, he already swam away. He's still here, he's still here. You get this pipe. Yeah, he's... There, there he goes. goes. Yeah, it like hooked him like... In the, in the, like in the... Sweat. Yeah. But yeah, there was a big smallmouth chasing him. What the heck? That was crazy. I don't know, maybe the smallmouth was the one, because something was eating it. And then, it might have been that smallmouth. That water's warm here. I don't know where he went, that smallmouth. That was a big smallmouth, too. I'd rather have caught that. No. Yeah. Bites here. Yep. Either the smallmouth really wanted the bait, or he was looking to somehow eat that pike. <laughs> no way. Yeah, there's no way. That's I know. I would never have thought you'd have a smallmouth following your fish in there. <laughs> I thought it was a catfish at first too, because it, it looked so like, like just uh, like it was one color. Like how catfish just look like a a blob of just one color. Yeah, for some reason the pikes they really like the cover scat. <laughs> it's like what we're touching with it here, not catching really any bass. No. Just pikes. Miss any? No, I still haven't done it again. 
know, now maybe we should go to the pier now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess so. All right, folks, well, we lied. We weren't gonna end our day over there. We're gonna end it over here by this bridge, can't see it. We haven't fished this spot yet today. Usually we fish this spot first. We did kind of the opposite today. Let's see if there's anything lurking over here. A little bit longer to fish. Heck yeah, let's go. I don't know. Feels decent too. I don't know if it's a pike or if it's a small mouth. Or if it's a large mouth. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Just a large mouth. Pretty good size. No. Nah. I mean, he feels warm. I got one. Heck yeah, man, a double. Look at that. Let's see what Ryan's got. I don't know if he's got a bass. Holy shit. That's the biggest crappie I ever caught. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. I got copper scat. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be bigger than your best crappie. Oh, that is, that is, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I hit the one I caught him, that, uh, the, the dump was bigger, but. Are you serious? That's big, yeah. You could hold both of them. <laughs> like this? Yeah, and then let me get a photo. Is that perfect? Yeah, that's perfect. Crappie's almost as big as the bass. Release them both. What a duo. Big bass and then a big crappie. And we don't have the board, we can't measure that crappie. Look at that fucking thing. I want you to take a picture like this. <laughs> that is so fucking awesome. I know. That size of that crappie. Take it over. I mean, I mean, the bass is like a typical big, bigger bass, but that. But you getting that other fish, that crappie at the same time, that's crazy. Not a cover scat. Mine, mine's a, mine's done though. Yeah. All right. Mine's ripped. What's the only fish we haven't caught? Cut by a walleye. It's the only thing that we haven't got walleye with a cover scat yet. Muskie bit it. A catfish bit it. Perch bit it. <laughs> yeah, I even caught a perch with that. If you believe it. <laughs> yeah. At the dump, it's like a bigger perch. Yeah. from the sky really? like a bird shit or something right in front of me <laughs> it must have been all right let's do one more cast each casting where i got that bass one more cast Wait, is that your first crappie you've caught in a long time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the biggest one you ever caught. All right. Yeah. 
yeah, something did tap it, but that's going to have to be it. I'm, sh I'm sure if you stayed, if you were allowed to fish here all day or fish for a long time, we'd catch some, some good fish. But just like every other place, we gotta, pretty much gotta go. But, the good stuff, the good action, all happened right then and there. Just, I mean, I get the bass and then Ryan gets a slab of, of a crappie. Huge one. I mean, catch a couple pike. Had that smallmouth come follow my pike in. That that was kind of that was kind of weird. I'd never seen a smallmouth following a a pike in that you caught to try to eat it or eat the. Probably was trying to eat my bait. But yeah, we would have had a really good day if we didn't miss. Ryan missed a couple, a couple more pike. But we did good. So the mission was uh, completed today. Anyways, uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.